Hey, this is King's Kid, and I just broke my T-Mobile Galaxy Tab. Um, at this point, I can't get into download mode. Download mode is virtually impossible. There's no way to pull the battery because they got it locked, stopped, and sold in. So what we're going to do is, there's hope. And what you're going to do is, you take out your SIM card first. SIM card is out. My SIM card right there. And we go on to get Odin 1.7. Let's start that up. You make sure that your um, USB is plugged into your um, computer as well as your tab. And there go your tab right there. And what I'm about to do, I am about to flash the T-Mobile stock. So I'm going to recover. Now you're saying, how are you going to flash and you can't get in the download mode? Now watch and see. And press start. Everything is loading up. Catch. I'll put the tab right there. This is going to take a while. It may take about four minutes. So, I wish I could speed it up, but I can't. As you see, it started flashing on Odin as well as your tab. Now I'm going to share something with you. The first thing you will want to do is after you get out of this and it's finished rebooting and stuff, go in the recovery and wipe. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of forced closures apps. So you have to wipe. Wipe the catch and wipe your memory. And when you load it back up again, you shouldn't have no more problems. It's still flashing. It's going to take about four minutes. I wish I had some music to play. Still flashing. I really wish I could speed this up. After you finish flashing with your SIM card back in and go to recovery and wipe. Yeah, I believe this is one of the longest videos I ever made. Make sure it's Odin 1.70, not 3.1. I mean 1.3.
Crap, do we still flash it? And there you have it. Pass. At this point, you may want to put your SIM card back in. Hard to do it without that one here. Okay, some cards I can. You can unplug it from your computer now. That is normal when you take out the SIM card for the T-Mobile, it reboots. So, it will reboot right back into official firmware. I guess you could probably flash it without taking out the own SIM. And there you got it, restored. Didn't have to write this time, but if you have a lot of apps and you happen to mess up your tab, you have to go in the recovery to write because you're going to have a lot of forced closures. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have restore your tab.